compare prices for your brand new car? Well then, visit autodeal.com.ph, select the car that you want, and choose to request for a quote from our network of over 500 official dealer partners nationwide. Within minutes, you'll start receiving offers from the dealers you've selected. All that's left is for you to select the deal that's best for you. Get the best deal on Autodeal. When the current generation was launched in 2021, September of 2021, the MUX, or rather MUX, captured really a very large audience with its stunning looks, great features, and of course its reliability because it's an Isuzu. Now in 2023, it hopes to do the same with a few updates that it has put inside the automobile, which I'll talk you through on this very quick walk around and tell you also what has remained the same. Let's start with the front clip, shall we? This gorgeous, gorgeous chrome or rather matte rather this is the chrome but this matte around the grill i absolutely love it makes it look really really beefy when you pair it with the piano black uh, underneath is actually still the same although the base uh, automatic and the only manual transmission of the mu x is the one with the smaller engine everybody else gets the three liter four cylinder turbo diesel blue power turbo diesel mind you made it to a six-speed automatic that produces 187 horses and 450 newton meters of torque now that's underneath what is obviously, obviously the, the elephant in the room is this gorgeous color on this automobile now this color Oddly enough, it's called Norwegian Blue. Now, Jack and I were talking about it, that when we hear the word Norwegian, or the place, or the country, Norwegia, Norwegia? Jack, fix yourselves. Norway. Norway, there you go. When we think of Norway, or the word Norwegian, we think salmon. You know, the color salmon. Like, as would Ross Geller would say, it's not pink, it's salmon. But no, this one is Norwegian Blue, and it is wow. It's not like the blue of the other car companies. No, it's actually very, very gorgeous. I love it. If you think about it, Norway is a very cold place, so blue actually works. Norwegia. Magayuska Jack. Anyway, continuing down the side, we have new wheels. These are actually very, very gorgeous. They're 20 inches wrapped in 50 series tires. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I'm kind of hoping that this also translates to the D Max. I'm not a big fan of the wheels, but that's for another time and a different review altogether. Continuing on down the side, you have the same amount of ground clearance, uh, this beautiful chrome accent you find underneath the windowsill, and of course, ventilated discs up front and at the rear. Speaking of the rear, let's go there now. There is a power tailgate, much like before, but in this case, you also have the option of keeping the key inside your pocket because it has a proximity sensor. So when you approach the automobile, it actually opens up for you, which is actually very cool. Now, when you do open her up, you have more than enough space to keep two Balikbayan boxes with the third row folded. And then loading it isn't an issue either because you have a very flat lip here. And since the seats fold flat also, you can actually add even more cargo in here like you could fit jack. That shouldn't be an issue. Or a very large suitcase with the two Balikbayan boxes in there. And obviously even more so when you fold the second row. Uh, speaking of the second row, let's get in there right now. You know, I just realized it would be nice if more taller SUVs such as this would always have these grab handles on the side because I know my Montero doesn't have it and God knows I need it. Anyway, to continue, uh, the latest addition or change inside the, the Mu X would be the fact that the seats are no longer dark brown. It's actually black. It's a beautiful black with uh, white stitching there. It's nice. Leather still feels pretty darn good. And toys are roughly the same. You've got bottle holders on either door. Your 150 watt um, uh, uh, AC here, which is 220. And then your charging points there. The seats in the rear obviously uh, have not changed. It's better for short trips and smaller adults like myself. Aircon control up here, lights and vents are in the seating for both the second row and the third row. So really the biggest change would be the color and the material of the seats because it's, I feel like it's much nicer. Comfort's still the same though, which is great. And this, I wanna take, I, I wanna take this home. Can I stick this onto the, is there any way to take this off? Voila, no? <laughs> Let's go to the front. And then here also up front, there is, oh! And I need these things. 
under tall people problems. Anyway, um, some things don't change and that's a good thing because it stays for the better, such as this 10.1 infotainment screen with Apple and Android capabilities and it's also your reverse camera. Um, you have cubby holes here in the center and on the door and even up here, look at that, cute little where you can keep all your hopes and dreams and stuff that don't really matter. The ball, hold the, the ball holders on either side are big enough to carry uh, one liter uh, plastic bottles or even broken GoPros that some people may have uh, accidentally run over and hope that his boss never finds out. You have your dual air controls here, uh, charging point down here, um, a few. Uh, areas including this here right here that has piano blacks you do have your buttons on your steering wheel to control your cruise and your infotainment system you have a small digital trip computer in the center flanked by two analog gauges roughly still the same as the the previous model uh, which means that you have an eight-way power adjusting seat which I absolutely love with lumbar support and then it can allow you to get into the easiest of driving positions because the steering wheel is of course telescopic I love that now although all the updates are rather minor I think that there is two things that are very much a very big win in this side in in this automobile one is the Norwegian blue color which I absolutely adore and the other thing is the price despite the additions that you find inside this automobile and outside this gorgeous Norwegian blue um, there is no price increase on the Mu X, on the 2023 Mu X, unlike the other automobiles that you see out there, which have slowly been starting to go up. No, this is staying the same, which is to say that it starts at just 1,650,000 Philippine pesos and then it tops up at just a hair over 2,500,000 Philippine pesos. Find out more details on the new Mu X or the 2023 updated Mu X on our website, autodeal.com.ph. We also have a get quote button which you can use now because this automobile is this 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 updated one it's available starting right now as we launch this they're saying yeah tell them it's available nationwide thanks for watching everyone stay safe we'll see you soon